Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Previous lesson we did our app the sorry add method and our CSS HTML pages. Uh, now today we're going to start update and delete methods. We hopefully we're going to finish those two. Before start our lesson, I would like to tell you something about about if you remember previous lesson I was expecting an error. Um, while I was trying our first method, listing method, let me show you. Um, entity, entities, about entity, and let's open service, services, concrete, by service. Yeah, here we go. All right, normally. If we just just imagine if we're using .NET 6, okay. If we would like to add a table in another table, I mean entity in another entity, we have to use include method. Include x dot social media we have to do like this uh, and we call that eager loading and there is another version of loading it's we call that the lazy loading but we have to do some settings to use lazy loading but dot net 7 lazy loading comes as a default so we don't need to use the include anymore that's why we didn't get any error any problem anything so we can use as it is all right let's continue the update method now but services no don't say didn't nothing all right let's go to the controllers and about update add view it's gonna be raster view and layout is correct let's wait the application create our page Still waiting. Come on, Visual Studio. All right, okay, perfect. Let's add our model first. About update we model, perfect. And we're going to use the same form that we use at. Add method, control C, update, control V. Now let's remand it. Update about us, dashboard about us, add. Now we're going to call that update, admin about, update about, Post multipart, all right, perfect. Now, if you remember, we're going to change those, change those two. Do not forget to change when we finished our image helpers. Those are temporary, but this one is have to be here. Type hidden ASP for ID. And row version. All right, those two properties not gonna be changed, so we're going to select, bring, and send it back. Same data. All right, the other things going to be same. Nothing is going to be changed. Yeah, we need to add our file from file to update version of our view model let's open add copy because we didn't add to the update view model it's now all done now update about must be fixed now nah, all done great now if 
we go to the list method I'm sorry not that one do we have any any edit button here let me have a quick check there is a delete we should have a delete button here the edit button here yeah here we go here let's fix that one now ASP area admin ASP controllers about ASP action update about and we should have sent we should send data ID item dot ID and we sent the variable to the method ASP root ID again item dot ID and bit an info small edit perfect let's give a shot guys we win browser I'm waiting to, to page all right okay this is our about us page let's click the edit yes informations are here let's change the informations let's make every, everything 444 submit yes all done perfect update is done let's have a look to del delete actually we did we already done the delete it's working it's working right yeah delete about delete yeah it's already working let me have a look oh uh, where is the yeah delete is already working sometimes i forget what i've done previous lesson because there is a lot of gap between lessons so <laughs> i might forget all right add is working update is working delete and listing is all of them is working now let's have a look our codes and let me look it's just seven minutes yeah let's have a look our codes and make them clean and tidy all right get about what can we do here now let's fix that dashboard and about us section all right asp area oops what happened admin ASP controllers dashboard and ASP action index perfect ASP so do we need do we need that one is that at yeah this is at okay so we need to go listen method area area admin as oops sorry asp controllers about and asp action let's have a look method name why is it open yeah i need controllers get about list and hold on yeah so this brand comp is okay let's have a look quickly here everything is done there is no unnecessary place but we can do partial view if you want for this place let me have a look how we do it 
partial. Hmm. Actually, we don't we don't have too many section here. Let me finish um, amending and cleaning all uh, all our codes first, and we can go back to the partial weaves and get about list. Let's have a look again. Dashboard. Let's copy that dashboard. All right. This is an about us. There's no problem with that one. Um, have a. I'm having a quick look. All right. Let's have a look. Update. I'm gonna copy and paste this section. It's going to be same with the update. All right. Anything else? Anything else? Yeah, since it seems cool, no problem. Perfect. I'm gonna look my previous project. I couldn't remember how exact um, code block names to create a just a simple partial view. Yeah, yeah, this is the partial name. Let me partials. Hmm. This is the folder name and the name of the partial view. Great. And this is the partial view, right? Yeah. Alright. Okay, guys. Let's create our partial views here. At about. Let's create our folder first. Um, let's let's give a cool name. Social media. Social. Social media. Partial. View. And add view. Mother view. And it's going to be. Partial view, I guess, and let's give a name social media view. Yeah, let's let's give a shot. I'm not quite sure is it the partial view or the empty. Razor view. I'm just going to try which one is correct. All right. Partial name. Yeah, partial name. The name is social media. Partial view and social media view. Let's copy and let's copy these sections. So cut these sections and add those here. Hmm. Should I add the model as well? Yeah. Same model. Alright, okay. Then. Model. Add. About. V model. Perfect. Let's let's try guys within browser. At about us, yeah, here we go. Is 
let's submit very well perfect it's working no problem so our partial is working now so let's um, then we need to add another partial for update let's change this name add social media partial view add social media partial view yeah copy that one oops sorry control x let's go to the update let's make it update and add folder update social media partial view at view browser view and a partial perfect the name is social media view all of the Come on, yeah, all right, okay, perfect. Now we have our social media view. Let's copy, I mean, cut from the original place to the social media view. Before model at sorry about at we model and control v update about let's have a look here perfect it's a little bit clean it's much more clean and easy to access i guess let's try our code now And it's oops, there's a problem. Let's run the faster video direction here. About update V model. About add. Did we something wrong? Oh, it must be update guys. Yes, it must be work now. This is my best sorry about that. We win browser. Let's edit and here we go. Uh, it's working, no problem at all. All right. Uh, let's close that one. Save, save. Okay. All method is working. We cleaned and made tidy our codes. The rest of uh, the rest of the we we supposed to need to do is um adding image so we going to create the image helper um actually i was planning to start image helper right now but i changed my mind i'm gonna finish all controller and views first and then i'm going to do our image helper because uh, i'm going to use that image for another place maybe i can create our identity library first i mean i can I, i'm going to use identity library first then uh, i will start the image helper because i'm going to use user image uh, for the user so that image helper is going to is going to be used for lots of methods so i'm going to delay to create it uh, let's continue and let's see what gonna happen okay uh, i'm going to finish this lesson here and see you See you on another lesson guys. Take care of yourself. Bye bye.